trying this out we shall see so uh it's quite the controversy locally because now we have these swedish imports of the swedish berry picker harvest fresh berries and i've heard mixed results people are using them for blueberries obviously that's our local crop but what we have here is my mom's imports so my mom is british and so she wanted gooseberries. So this gooseberry push is in bad shape. We need to prune it. And it is suffering because the huge mound that you see before you, which is mostly black currant, has just taken over. Like there are some raspberries coming up out of it. We have a Saskatoon tree um, that's come out of it, but mostly this is black currants. Black currants are also called cassis. Um, they're a wonderful smell. Um, they're very unique. They're not that great when you eat them fresh. These ones are like, it's a very strong taste. These ones are so, so ripe that they're, you could eat them fresh, but it's sort of like rhubarb in that it's like, it needs sugar. Same thing with gooseberries, right? Like gooseberries, which I think we need a new tree. I think this one's just done. Gooseberries are also something that you need to eat with sugar. So Saskatoons, on the other hand, I actually don't like Saskatoons when they are cooked. They taste woody to me. But when they're fresh like that, I eat them right off the tree. So we shall see. This is the experiment. We shall see how it goes. So I'm gonna try and get like an action shot. Because they grow on vines, they're not, I don't think they're the intended audience for this. So rather than going at it, I've been going at it kind of sideways, it is getting like a significant amount of the berries, but it picks the leaves too, but I kind of don't care about the leaves. It's definitely not gonna be a picking clean. When you have this many berries, it's just, and I'm not complaining. I am grateful for the bountiful harvest that we have, right? But like, we have just a stupid amount of berries going on here. Like the birds are gonna be so fat. <laughs> and so I'm not too worried too much about the ones that are dropping. Although I might put something underneath for that. But so far, like I've been doing this for one minute. So that's not too bad. So one minute. See. So in one minute, I've got these, pick out the leaves. It's, you know what, it's not bad. I mean, you definitely need to go through them afterwards, but it's fast. So for these, I'm probably not going to clean them too carefully because I take the big, I actually like the tart taste, but um, I'll take the big chunks out, but honestly... I'm going to be making and boiling these up to make like a cordial and to make flavored vinegars. So, I mean, if I'm going to make tarts or pie, I'll clean them better than this, but I think this is great. They're just, the smell of them is, oh, it's heavenly. I love it. But the raspberries go straight in my mouth. Like, there aren't enough of them to justify picking them really, other than to put them in my mouth. They're so good. So the verdict, well, I think I'm going to keep using it, even though it's definitely not for clean picking, because uh, this is like the whole bush that needs picking. And this chair right here, I did this triangle wedge. And so like in 15 minutes, I got that. Now I'm going to have to clean it, but it's still, it got me out here to actually do it because it was a new gimmick. So for me right now, I'm saying yes to it. But if you're a clean picker, you're not, you're not gonna like this at all. So results wise, it took me one episode of the debaters to pick through my 10 minutes of picking. And I got one, two, three good sized bags to freeze for like tarts and stuff i mean there's one or two little green things in there it's not gonna kill me and there was like this much leaves and this much of ones that 
aren't super ripe and surprisingly quite a few gooseberries because I think they were tangled in. So I'm gonna boil, those will be part of the boiling up for vinegar thing. And if anybody knows what to do with these leaves, let me know. Oh, and there was like two spiders and one caterpillar. So my verdict is it's worth it because I would rather sit and chill and like clean these um, inside where it's comfortable. But also for making jelly and stuff, I would definitely do it. It's not... I don't know. If you want to pick clean, don't use this thing, but I really like it. Also, if you would like to trade, I will trade you a bag of these for a bag of mushrooms or a bag of blueberries because they are really cool and you might like the taste. 